Hello guys, my name is Punk Ninja. Welcome back to another video. I just want to say real quick, if you could like and subscribe, it mean a bunch. Check my pin con uh, for my Discord and my Twitch if you want to go check those out. Anyways, let's get right into this. So first off, you're probably wondering by the title of the video, dude, what do you mean that us COD players deserve what's going on with COD right now? This isn't our fault. And while it might not be your fault, it might not be your friend's fault or your mother's fault, it is kind of the COD community's fault. Us as a community is a very, very toxic community. So much so they felt like they needed to put in a free bot which i had a video on that i'll leave that title card you probably see it and they put in a dog shit bot used in a kids game just because we were just so goddamn toxic now the question is here why do we deserve this now the first thing i want to bring up is the official reveal trailer for infinite warfare and if you see here the dislike ratio to like ratio is massive like this dislike ratio is huge and if we go to the actual cods channel the dislike ratio is crazy am i saying they deserve this of course they deserve this they did this to themselves now let's go to black ops 2 probably one of the most prestigious games in all of cod history now while i'd argue black ops 1 is a little bit better black ops 2 did pave away for a lot of things innovated a lot of things but we're just gonna look at this dislike ratio 65,000 plus people dislike this now what's going on with this why are we hating on probably one of the most prestigious games that everybody praises we always talk about it all the time anytime someone brings it up in a tier list it's always up there in s tier or high a tier what's going on with this even the mw 2019 trailer wasn't this bad with even less dislikes and more likes what is going on even world war ii got this treatment even though world war ii did definitely deserve it and they actually did fix it over time and i think it actually became a better more full-fledged game even they have a pretty hefty dislike ratio even though they got a million likes which is huge but why when you look up cod sucks you get videos from six years ago six years ago nine years ago 13 years ago like why are you getting these videos why did 12 years ago why does the cod community hate cod so much cod is one of my favorite shooters i think out there it's one of the better arcade shooters and while there's so many nitpicks we can put down to it at its core cod has a very very strong hold on the community there's a reason why the cod community is still alive today now a lot of the things is with cod is that it's mainstream it's super easy to make fun of or like the twilight series dude people shit on the twilight series it doesn't even matter nobody even actually watched twilight series probably or even got into it but it was just mainstream and cool to hate on it even though they do deserve it very heavily because of their absolute terrible carelessness when it comes to the cod community blah 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 blah. there's a lot of other things they don't innovate they don't try to work with people they don't try to work around the game they don't it's pretty much the same game every year like 2k i'm sorry if i hurt your feelings but 2k didn't exactly change very much you can't exactly change something like this and when they do innovate and when they do to try something new us come as a community stomps on it and hates it dude like infinite warfare for example we fucking stomped on infinite warfare it was a leap it was a change and it was something that was different and we hated it now if we don't see any change we fucking foam at the mouth and now that they're trying to get more change in the games we hate it now i, want, I know everybody wants that arcadey cod 4 feel where it's like nice and snappy nice and good we need to innovate as a community we need to allow innovations to come in now i'm not saying a lot on the pay to win shit into the game or bundles i think bundles absolutely murdered modern cod but what i'm saying is we are way too aggressive on the cod devs when it comes to them wanting to innovate now someone's gonna be saying well maybe because their innovations suck and i do agree that a lot of their innovations suck but i just want to come back to ghosts ghosts had a really unique perk system and it was a really more fleshed out more mmo type perk system but people hated it and while yes ghost was a camp ass game with a lot of issues a lot of problems and a a lot of things that could have been fixed to make it a better game at, at the end of the day it was an innovation to the cod formula if you guys don't like modern cod go play the old cods and while i know there's hackers and there's people that are fucking shit up over there i understand that but at the end of the day dude it, the game cannot be the same game it's just gonna die out and while i hate to say it like what they're doing in mw3 i'll give them props raising the health so that you have more time to fight back and it comes down to more aim instead of your gun is really good having 150 health means that you're gonna be able to put more shots on target which means guns are gonna do probably not as much damage you'll have more time to react you have more time to run away you have more time to position reset the fight so many different things were ruined because mw2 raised 
the time to kill and made it so that the time to kill is faster to the point that it's too hard to get away from those fights and rechallenge. Having a faster time to kill leads to camping, just like in Ghost. You would die instantly in Ghost, and that's why people sat in corners. They wouldn't challenge you because if they missed a few shots and you hit a few more shots than them, it was game over. And in this game, it's the same way. People don't want to move because of the faster time to kill. And people hate COD for that. And when they raise the time to kill, they say it's too slow and people have too much time to react. There's no pleasing anybody on the sides. And while people want movement and people want less of a sweaty community, I don't understand where these two clash. I, people want MW2019 movement, but people hated MW2019 movement because people were too sweaty on that game. I just don't understand what happens when we try to change up the game a little bit and people freak out because it's not what they want. And some people on the other side I'd be like, oh, I love this. Other ones don't. And it's just a conflict. And we just hate the game. MW2 did a lot of things wrong. And they did a lot of things good. And you gotta appreciate for the wrong to the good. Pros to the cons. You can't just take it all and bunch it together until it's ass. But the problem is, is that there's such a divide between the community. And they butt heads so much. You need to separate the company from the devs. The devs even though they try their best it's the company's thing to tell whether or not this gets put in let's say a new gun gets put in let's say i don't know let's say they didn't have the 1911 in. let's say they didn't put it in the cod devs wanted to put in 1911 activision said no because they have to pay rights to colt or breda i think they make an M 1911 i'm not too sure or whatever company and they don't want to do that so they don't put a gun in you gotta you gotta separate the company from the actual devs and while it's really hard to do because they're so intermingled the decisions that devs make that get to the corporate side and get red green lighted are terrible they probably had a bunch of good ideas that weren't green lighted into the game like if i could talk to somebody who's on the dev team and could tell me what things weren't green lighted there'd probably be a bunch of things that you guys wanted like regular minimap blame that on joe seacott dude just literally blame that on the people that actually get blamed for it at the end of the day you need to have new players into the game and i understand catering to noobs is not a good way to get new players in the game making a good game is a good way to get new players into the game now there are so many so many different flavors of fps there is just too many out there you got your squads you got your ready or nots you got your rainbow six sieges you got your apex legends you got your battlefield you got your fucking uh i don't know tinky winky adventure fucking shooting range i don't fucking know dude there's too many fps's out there there's so many different varieties of fps's out there so many different changes between them there's just no way you could possibly like every single one you might like some parts of i don't know maybe you like x defiance movement but you really like cod's gunplay but you also really really like the custom ability on battlefield or you really like the the graphic design on apex legends or there's so many different things that you can like in a game and you can love in a game that you just can't have in one game and when you try to say that you want cod to be all these things it can't be because another person might like the graphics of apex legends and the other one might not like the graphics of apex legends maybe they like the graphics of x Defiant, or maybe they like the movement of mw2019 but you like the movement of a cold war those are two different sides of the same coin that it when put together don't really work. People want COD to be something that it doesn't want to be, and we get upset about it. You probably grew up, let's say you were 10 years old, you got your first console, let's say the PS3, PS4, whatever. Probably PS3, that's about when most people were started playing, or the OGs at least. Let's say you get your first console, you're around 10 years old, it was the PS3, you just got MW2, the good one, and you start playing MW2 and you fell in love with the game. You love the game, dude. And you play those games so, so so, so much that when like let's say mw 2019 comes out you were like wait this isn't my game this isn't the thing that i fell in love with and you grew up playing these things and you grew up playing these games and it changed and you don't like it and that's okay change happens there's just too many different people too many different mixes too many different thoughts too many different feelings to cater to every single one of them everybody has had different experiences and you can't you can't really mix all of that together because that's not how that works there's too many things that the fps community is doing that is innovating on the actual like genre let's say unrecord if you don't know what unrecord is it's a um indie game that's coming out it's going to be more of a chest cam realism unreal engine 5 video game so it's going to be looking really cool it's going to have some really good shit in it i'm actually kind of excited for it but it's more of a slower paced i guess you would say rainbow six style of game or squad kind of game and you 
really like those kind of games, but you don't like COD, and that's fine. Just COD is a dated formula. At this point, arcade shooter has so many meanings, like is Battlefield 2042 an arcade shooter? COD does some things right, it also does some things wrong. Apex Legends does some things right, it also does some things wrong. There's just too many variables, too many things. And it also comes down to the fact that the COD community kinda just hates itself. We are so toxic towards one another, and we just so much hate goes on in the COD community. And while I'm not saying that every single human being who ever yeah. plays COD is a hateful, resentful piece of shit, I'm saying that a lot of online forums, if you ever go to them, are just filled with vitriol talking shit about all the games. Damn, nobody agrees, nobody disagrees, everybody just comes to the understanding that everybody hates each other. And at the end of the day, you can't really do anything about that. And I do wish the COD community was less divided so that we could agree more, but that's just not how that works. We don't live in this society where we're able to do that. We're all different. Anyways, guys, I know this is a bit of a more ranty video, but I am going to end it right there. If you do want to like and subscribe, mean a bunch to me. Follow me. I stream on Twitch. So you're going to go follow that. Mean a bunch. Have a nice day, guys. See you guys next time. Bye bye.